Primula veris is commonly called the cowslip. It's a clump forming herbaceous perennial plant of the primrose family. Traditionally, it has a long history of medicinal use and it's been particularly useful in treating conditions like spasms, cramps, paralysis and rheumatic pain. The flowers and the leaves are anodyne, diaphoretic, diuretic and expectorant. The flower is suggested for treating overactivity and sleeplessness, especially in children. It's possibly valuable in the treatment of asthma and other allergic conditions. The root is also mildly diuretic, anti-rheumatic, and it slows the clotting of blood. It's used in the treatment of chronic coughs, especially those associated with chronic bronchitis. It's used in the treatment of kidney plaints and catarrh. Many folk remedies use the cowslip to reduce blood clotting and rheumatic diseases like rheumatic arthritis and gout. It's also helpful as a treatment for infections of the urinary tract and for kidney complaints. An infusion can be made using the dried cowslip flower in boiling water and this can be drunk as a treatment for colds. The cowslip roots can be mixed with water and boiled and set aside to cool and this can be used for benefits to the heart and the circulatory system. A syrup can be made by mixing the crushed flowers with honey and water and this can be used for treating breathing disorders like asthma and coughs. The cowslip flowers soaked in white wine was said to be of benefit to the heart. It's said to be useful for treating acne, pimples and other skin blemishes. In Europe it's been an effective calming beverage for problems related to nerves and anxiety. The flowers are thought to be a milder sedative and they're used to calm children and to help them sleep. The cowslip roots are expectorant and they can be used to treat common cold and flu symptoms. It's been used for treating epilepsy and tremors and it might potentially be beneficial for Parkinson's disease. The herb is used as an alternative to treating kidney complaints and urinary tract infections. In Ayurvedic medicine, it's used for the treatment of allergies. The leaves have traditionally been used in Spanish cooking as a salad green. In English cooking, the flowers are used in country wine and vinegars. The fresh and dried leaves can be used as a tea substitute. The flowers, raw or cooked, are used in conserves and as a garnish. The cowslip tea can be great against insomnia and you can make it by getting 50 grams of cowslip herb, 25 grams of lavender and 10 grams of St. John's wort. Mix all these in 250 milliliters of water and let it sit for three minutes. A boiled mixture of the cowslip root can be great for treating kidney problems. A tea can be made with 50 grams of cowslip, 50 grams of common elder, 15 grams of nettle leaves and 15 grams of dandelion root. These are mixed in 250 milliliters of water. Some people are allergic to the stamens of the plant. The saponins can cause hypertension. Excessive or prolonged use can interfere with high blood pressure treatment and it can cause possible gastrointestinal irritation. It may cause vomiting and diarrhea. An overdose of the cowslip can lead to queasiness, nausea, gastric complaints and diarrhoea. It's not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding women, patients who are sensitive to aspirin or people who are taking anticoagulant drugs like warfarin. To learn more about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.